This isn't the first time Hannibal police officers have investigated animals being caught in leg traps. In 2013, a dog and cat lost their legs. This time, two dogs were seriously injured from traps that are illegal to use in city limits. The local Humane Society was a part of the rescue during last year's incidents. Workers there hope use of these traps come to an end. It's really sad that uh, people are resorting to that. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that it's for trapping wild animals versus this, the, uh, the pets of, of Hannibal. But unfortunately, I think they're catching more pets than they are wild animals. Neighborhoods where the incidents took place are a little over two miles apart. Both border small patches of woods. A resident who spoke off camera said he's noticed traps set before in the area and has gone so far as to disarm them. For Tim Ledbetter, it doesn't get any easier to deal with these issues. Abuse and neglect are in our business is the worst thing. Uh, we, we have all kinds of calls, but when you see abuse and neglect, and this would be abuse, and when you see a dog that's injured that bad, it, it's, it's pretty sad, and you just hate to see that. There's no reason for this. The person responsible for the traps could face fines for trapping in the city, abuse, and possible state charges for not tagging traps and trapping out of season. Megan Townley, KHQA News, Hannibal, Missouri.